Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to take the Auto Charge Pro and walk through the initial assembly, calibration, and setup to get you quickly and accurately dispensing charges. Let's get started. Initial assembly of the Auto Charge Pro is really simple, and it starts by removing the scale cover and taking your scale plate and installing it right in the center of the scale. Next up, you've got calibration weights. You've got a 50 and a 10 gram calibration weight. Then you take your powder pan and simply place it on the scale plate. Over here, you've got your power source and a powder brush. Now that brush is used to help during the cleanup process and it's stored right back here in the hopper caddy. At this point, you're ready to plug this machine in and get started. Now that you've got your Auto Charge Pro plugged in and completely assembled, the next thing you'll do is level it. Now there's a built-in level and four adjustable leveling feet to help you get this thing dialed in and dead flat on your bench. Next, to power it up, simply press and hold the power button and the machine will come to life. Now you're gonna let that stabilize for five to 15 minutes and then we'll be ready to go over these keypad functions. The Auto Charge Pro has an easy to read backlit touchscreen. The first is the on off button, of course, that we've already used. Next up is the zero calibrate button. If you tap it, it will zero the scale. And if you hold it for three seconds, it'll enter the calibration mode. Next is the dispense button. Tapping it will begin or pause the dispensing of your target amount. If you hold the button, it will trickle to the target weight. There's an auto or manual button. Tap to switch between the auto and manual modes. And if you hold it, it will toggle the backlight on or off. When in manual mode, you use the dispense button to begin each dispensing cycle after the pan is placed on the scale. This allows partial charge to be placed on a scale and the auto charge to finish trickling the remainder of the charge until the target weight is reached. The auto mode starts dispensing the powder as soon as an empty pan is placed back on the scale and the scale re-zeroes itself. Next is the units button. You can tap to select between grains or grams. And if you hold it for six seconds, it will turn on or off the beep sound. The enter button confirms commands and entries and stores target weights as a custom setting. The speed button sets the speed at which the unit trickles. A larger number means faster trickling and generally lower accuracy. The smaller numbers will trickle slower but have a higher degree of accuracy. The time setting allows you to select how many grains away from your target weight the unit will begin to trickle. The larger numbers indicate a longer trickle time with higher accuracy. Smaller numbers will have a shorter trickle time but generally lower accuracy. The target button allows you to enter your target weight. Simply tap the button and enter in the exact weight and press the enter key. In the settings button, you can toggle between normal, one, two, three, or four. The program you are currently using is displayed above the settings button. Programs one, two, three, and four are memory slots for any of your own custom settings. The Auto Charge Pro is also equipped with a couple of keypad shortcuts. For example, if you hold the enter and the number six key, it will reset the unit to factory settings. By pressing enter and the number eight key, you can adjust the program setting, which will increase or decrease the overall speed and accuracy of the unit, depending on which of the three settings you have chosen. The three settings are L for low, which is the lowest speed, but the highest accuracy, M for medium, which is the average speed and average accuracy, and H for high, the highest speed and generally the lowest accuracy. That high speed is usually not recommended for low charge weights with long stick powders like H4831. Touch and hold the number eight on the keypad to view which program setting is currently being used. Now that your Auto Charge Pro is plugged in and properly acclimated, you're ready to calibrate. To start, remove the scale screen and the powder pan. To enter the calibration mode, simply press and hold the calibration button for three seconds. It'll display cal on the screen and then prompt you with the number 10. You take the 10 gram weight and simply place it right there on the scale. It'll think for a moment and then display 10 grams. At that point, you can remove the 10 gram scale and the machine will then display 50 for the 50 gram weight. Place that on the center of the scale. The machine will think for a moment and then display 50. Remove your 50 gram weight. The machine will briefly display the word pass as it is past calibration. All you have to do now, 
Replace your powder pan, press the zero key to zero out your scale, and you're ready to start dispensing powder. To get started dispensing powder, the first thing you'll do is ensure that the powder hopper drain is in the upright position. Next, you can pour your powder right here into the hopper. One thing you can do is to press the units button to toggle and make sure that you are in the grain setting. For the initial use, make sure that your settings are in normal. And then we have our unit in auto, which means it will automatically dispense your next charge as soon as you place an empty pan back on the scale and the scale re-zeros. You can adjust that into the manual mode where you'll physically have to press the dispense key for each charge. Next, you'll enter in your target weight. Simply press target, enter in your charge weight, and press the enter key. Now to get that first charge, simply press the dispense key. The unit will beep when you have a successful charge. You're ready to dump that into your cartridge case. For this example, I'm going to toss it back here into the hopper. Now when I replace the pan back on the scale, it will re-zero itself and dispense another charge. I've noticed that this machine's taken just a little bit longer than I'd like to dispense these charges, so I'm going to increase the speed and decrease the trickle time. To do so, simply tap the speed button, and I'm going to take that to 1.0. Enter, and then I'm going to take my time from 0.7 down to 0.5. Since we've made a setting change, we'll have to press that dispense key to start the charges. Once you've got the settings dialed into where you like them, you can simply save it as a custom load. To do so, all you'll have to do is tap the settings button to access the custom options. You'll enter in your target weight, your speed, and your time. That will be permanently saved in whatever custom setting menu you're in. On occasion, the machine might throw an overcharge. If that happens, simply press the enter key to clear the over warning, take your powder pan, dump it right back into the hopper. Now when you replace your pan, you get a new charge. When your loading session's over, we don't recommend storing powder in the Auto Charge Pro, but cleanup is quick and easy. To get the powder out of your hopper, simply slide the unit over to the edge of your bench and open the hopper drain. You can use the included brush to help get those kernels that want to stick. With your powder hopper empty, it's important to remember to close the drain. Once you've got all the powder drained out of your hopper and you've ensured that the drain is closed, to get that last little bit out of the funnel, simply press the dispense key. Tap the dispense key to pause. You'll take that last little bit in the powder pan, turn it back to the canister, and you're good to go. The Auto Charge Pro is a welcomed addition to anybody's reloading bench. With plus or minus a tenth of a grain accuracy, a compact space-saving design, it really helps maximize your time at the reloading bench. Now, we've tried to cover it all in this video, but if you have further questions, give us a call at 800-338-3220 and talk to our knowledgeable tech staff.